One in Credivert, Exodus 20:11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Hi everyone, welcome to Incredible World Amazement Park. We are so glad you are joining us. For today's lesson, you will need the day one papers that are paper clipped together in the folders you received, sidewalk chalk, and the bag of popcorn from your snack bag. We hope you have a great time. To Incredible World. I'm Jennifer, Christopher, Julianne, Caleb, and we're going to tell you the story of creation. God, His Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit have been around forever, and long ago nothing else existed. The Bible tells it to us like this. In the first book of the Bible, Genesis is where we find our story. The very first verse goes like this. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So that is the first thing that God tells us about his creation, that he created it all. All right, let's go ahead. The next verse says, Now, the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Now let's think about what formless means. Formless means it has no shape. I think we all know what empty means. Julian, can you show how your cup is empty? See, nothing coming out of it, right? Okay, now Caleb has a full vase of water. And water has no form. It takes the shape of whatever container it's in. See, now it took a different shape. Before it was in this tall, thin vase. Now it's in this nice, wide cup. Okay, so now it has a little different form to it. Can you imagine something coming from nothing? If you were to bake a cake, you would have to start with some ingredients like these. You might need a cake mix or flour or your own sugar if you're making it yourself. You would need eggs, some oil, and a bowl to stir everything in. But God, when he created the earth, he created it from nothing. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, on the very first day, God says, 
let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. And then, then there was evening. Can you have in your packet a paper and a sticker chart? Can you hand me this, Caleb? That looks like this. It's the paper, and this is the sticker chart. Okay, please follow along with us. We're going to show you how you can keep track of the story of God's creation along with us. Okay, so take your paper, and the paper has some special lines on it that we're going to end up folding it to look like this. Okay, so what we do first is we take this part, we're just going to fold it back. Okay, and then we're going to flip it and fold it forward like folding an accordion. If you need help from a grown-up or an older brother or sister, please ask. As we tell our story today, we're going to be filling out this chart. If you need more time, just pause the video and you'll be able to take the time you need. Okay? So on our very first day, what did God create? Light. Light, light. right? Light, and he separated the light from the darkness. So on your first page here, we are going to put a sticker that says day one. Do you want to show them? Day one. Day one. See. Put that down at the bottom. And then these here are flashes of light. And you can put some flashes of light on your chart. Now, Caleb, Christopher, and Julianne already made one. You want to show fold yours up and show them what your first day looks like? You want to fold it up, Caleb, so they can just see the first day there. Okay, you can see how they look a little bit different, but they use the same stickers. Okay, you can put as many as you want on there. On day one, God created earth, space, time, and light. Okay, so on the second day, God created a sky in the middle of the waters. Stand up and reach as high as you can into the sky. If we didn't have the sky, we'd have no place for the for our air that we breathe. We get rain from the clouds in the sky. Sometimes as you're reading the Bible, it might say the vault or the vault of the sky, but that's what it means. It means um, the sky. God called the sky heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. So on your sticker chart, you're going to go to your second day. And what did God create on the second day? Um. The sky. The sky and the water. The water. And there are some waves you can add to your water there and some clouds you can put in the sky. You guys want to show what you did for yours? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Julia. In the first book of Genesis, verse 9 says, for the third day, God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let the dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and gathered the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation. Plants bearing seeds according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. We hear that phrase according to their kinds a lot in Genesis and what that means is carrots will produce more carrots. Carrots will not produce watermelon. God's creation isn't going to change into something completely different. Kind of like animals. Let's think about a dog. Dogs have baby dogs. They don't have baby cats. Now there are all kinds of different dogs. There are small dogs, big dogs, coyotes, wolves, but they're all dogs and they're all part of that same kind, the dog kind. They won't ever develop feathers or scales or anything like that. They will be different from one another, but they're still the dog kind. Let's go ahead and add to our sticker charts. Your day three. Let's show them what day three looks like. 
We already have some hills on the chart there for you and you can add your stickers, you can add your trees, you can add your flowers for day three. story starting at verse 16 in Genesis 1. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern your night. Govern means rule. He also made the stars. God set them in the sky to give light on the earth, to rule the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. God saw that it was good. Okay, so let's take a look at your fourth one. Go ahead and add to your sticker chart there. Okay, and you can see that on the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, the stars, and even the planets. And the sun is actually a star as well. On day four, God created the sun, moon, and stars. On the fifth day, God created great sea creatures and every bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Think about some of the sea creatures. What are some sea creatures you can think of, Julianne? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I wanna see, I'm gonna do a whale. A whale? What are you thinking of, Caleb? Narwhals. Narwhals. What about you, Christopher? Octopus. An octopus, that's the one I was thinking of too. What about some birds that might be flying in the air that he would have created? Blue jays. Blue jays. An eagle. An eagle. Royal albatrosses. You like those ones, don't you? Royal albatross. Very good. Let's take a look at some of the animals that God would have created and how he designed each one special to do their jobs very well. Bottlenose dolphins are sea creatures and God designed them with a special inner layer of skin called blubber to keep them warm in the cold water. God also gave them an outer layer of skin that allows them to swim through the water smoothly with little resistance. He gave them something called echolocation so they can find their food in the water. With echolocation, they make up to 1,000 clicking noises every second. Those sounds travel underwater until they hit an object and bounce back to the dolphin to tell them where the object is. Let's see how many tongue clicks you can make in 10 seconds. Did you make 1,000? Probably not. A dolphin can make 1,000 tongue clicks in just one second. Let's take a look at an example of a flying creature God designed, like the woodpecker. It pecks holes in trees and has little tufts of feathers to cover its nostrils so that wood chips won't get in. The woodpecker can peck holes in trees without getting a whopping headache because God put a special cushion in its head that sort of acts like a shock absorber. Isn't it amazing how God designed each one of these creatures perfectly? Let's go ahead and add to our sticker chart for day five. We're going to add sea creatures and birds in the air. Here, maybe from these pictures here. You can add some extra waves in your seas there too if you'd like. This is what Julianne's looks like. Put our day five sticker at the bottom and added those ones. I'm going to add some extra. Thank you. On day five, God created sea creatures and birds. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 24, we learn what happens on day six. God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds. There's that phrase again. The livestock. The creatures that move along the ground and the wild animals, each according to their kind. Now think about it. <laughs> Livestock would be like your farm animals. Wild animals would be like your lions, wolves, and your creepy crawly things would be like your snakes and bugs. God made the wild animals, the livestock, and the creatures that move along the ground all according to their kinds and God said that it was good. 
Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, that they may rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over the creatures that move along the ground. Now think about it, rule means to be in charge of and to take care of. So that was our job, and that shows that we are God's most special creation. Let's go ahead and add to our chart now for day six. You are going to add some of the animals and the people for day six. And God saw all that he made, and it was very good. There was evening and there was morning, and that was the sixth day. On day six, God created land, animals, and people. Seventh day, the Bible tells us that God had finished the work he'd been doing, so on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. So on your chart this time, you can leave it blank if you want. It would look like this to show that God's resting. I'm not put any stickers on. Or you can also add some stickers, like the earth, to show that God had created the earth. That's what Julianne chose to do. You want to make sure you put your day seven down there at the bottom too, though. And maybe some hearts to show that God was pleased with his creation. So God did many amazing creations in just the six days, and then he rested on the seventh. Now you should have your sticker chart all completed. It looks like this, or something similar. You also have in your packet a paper that has the creation story on it, and it shows what God created on each day. You can go ahead and color that as you have time. But we're so happy you joined us today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye. On day seven, God rested. <sighs> Exodus 20, 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Yeah! Woo! beginning god created heavens and the earth let there be light and darkness too he said before day, day one, one was through day two god split the waters and put a name to heaven then all, all the, the sky, sky came to be day two complete next, next day, day three day three day three god formed the oceans and the lands with plants and trees the flowers bloomed through all the earth oh what a sight to see Day four. God hung the moon and stars that twinkled in the night Then he set the sun to shine to warm the earth and give it light All the creatures of the sea came on day five by God's decree Then he waved his hand from here to there as birds and things took to the air Then animals came on day six that moved upon the ground The dogs and cats and cows and sheep and dinosaurs And things that creep God knew that he was almost done, but he saved the best for last. He created man and woman as his final task. Day seven, God rested, made it the Sabbath day. We're called to stop and give him thanks, to worship him and pray. Cause when he spoke from where he stood, he created what no other could. He blessed the, the things, things that he had made and saw that it was good. Our God is 24-7 24-7, that ain't no Our lie Our God is 24-7 Remember God filled the earth and sky Our God is 24-7 Seven days and that's all it Our took Our God is 24-7
Just take one look Just take a look At the book Just take a look At the book Yo <laughs>
sound just like a drum as he thumps against the tree. He blinks his eyes and the sawdust flies, he'll never miss a beat. God put a cushion in his head so his brains don't turn to mush. Put sticky stuff on its tongue so it can catch a buck, 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 buck. How much wood does a woodpecker peck when a woodpecker pecks on wood? When the woodpecker pecks, that woodpecker pecks as much wood as it should peck wood. God made the woodpecker on day five. When he finished, he said, it's good. How much wood does a woodpecker peck when a woodpecker pecks on wood? When the woodpecker pecks, that woodpecker pecks as much wood as it should peck wood. chalk that you were given in your craft bag, different things that God created each day. So on the first day, and Oliver's going to help me with this, on the first day, God created light. Right, Oliver? So on day one, we're going to draw things. We are going to draw something that reminds us of light. So what reminds you of light, Oliver? A light bulb. A light bulb. That's a good idea. And the sun. So are you going to draw one of those? I'm going to draw a light bulb. I'm going to do the sun. Okay, you do the sun. The candle. A candle is a really good idea. So we're going to draw these items. The and each day, we're going to draw something that reminds us of what God created that day. So have fun. Get out there. Enjoy the nice weather. And we'll see you tomorrow.
how are you? Welcome to day one of BBS and welcome to the Craft Cove. Today we are going to do the Wonder Wheel and it's just a simple little reminder of the things that God created every day. Because who made the world? God. And do you remember how many days he made the world in? Six days. With this wheel, you can remember what God made on each day that he created. So let's do this together, okay? So you should have had in your craft bag of goodies this a sheet. And it should have this awesome top with the Bible. And then on this other side, you're going to have all the days, one to six, and then, and then God rested. Because we know he rested on that seventh day. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some crayons because you guys are going to do some awesome coloring with this sheet, okay? And then you're going to need some scissors. So I'm not going to color this. I'm going to let Oliver color it. But we're going to have you color it. And then we're going to get some scissors. And if you don't feel comfortable doing the scissors, ask mom and dad, okay? So we're just going to cut this out. And you just want to follow the lines. So this is after you've colored it. So take the time, make it beautiful. And if you want to color it later, that's okay. But we're going to go straight around the lines and we're going to go down. Do we remember what God created on the first day? God created light. If you said light, you are absolutely correct. And on the second day, what did God create? If you said the sky, you are absolutely correct. And if you didn't, that's fine. That's why we're here. That's why we're here to learn and remember and be able to just take in everything that God has created for us because it's amazing, right? So the first one should be looking like this. You want to cut it out so that this little spot is open. And then you're going to take the one that has, that you should have awesomely colored with the different numbers on it. And you're just going to cut the outside circle. I'm going to do it real fast because I don't want you guys to be sitting here watching me cut. I want you guys to be coloring and having fun and learning about everything that God has done for us, right? So... I should be done here. There we go. And there you have it. So, when you're all done that, you need to pause the video, go right ahead. But when you're all done that, you're going to reach into that goodie bag and you're going to take out these glue dots and the stick. Okay? And we're going to take this stick. And we're going to put it on this bottom part of the circle. And on that glue dot, oh, those, on that stick, you're going to use these glue dots to adhere the popsicle stick to the paper. So you're going to take it, and you'll see this, I have it at the top over here. You just stick the glue dot on, and then pull this off, pull the paper off, the sheet, and then stick this right at the bottom. So it should look like this, and you should not be able you should be able to not hold it and it won't fall off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have either a parent do it or if you feel comfortable and your parents are okay with you doing it, you're going to take this and you're going to poke it through the little hole at the top. You can use scissors to help with that hole, but it should go right through there. Okay? From there, you're going to find this little hole right there in the middle, and you're going to stick it through there as well. Again, scissors might make it easier. Some people can use a nail to poke a hole, or you can just ask mom and dad. Okay? There we go. And what you're going to do then on the back part, see how that's sticking through? You're going to fold one to one side 
and one to the other. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to spin it so that we can remember that on the seventh day, God rested. Okay? I hope you guys enjoy this craft, and I hope you have a wonderful time coloring it and remembering that on the first day, God created light. On the second day, God created sky. On the third day, God created land and plants. Fourth day, God created the sun, moon, and stars. On the fifth day, God created sea creatures and flying creatures. And then on the sixth day, God created animal, land animals and man. So I look forward to seeing you on day two of VBS and working on the craft and the different games. Have a wonderful evening. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Thank you for joining us today. See you tomorrow for more fun through the amazement park.